Welcome to an all new episode of The Real Steven TV. And here we go. Ghostbuster star Aaron Hudson talks inequitable treatment pay disparity is not that quite simple to blame racism. Ghostbusters star Aaron Hudson rejected the idea that being black led to his reduced role in the first film. It says it's very tempting sometimes to blame anything that doesn't work in your life on racism, but it's not quite that simple. In offering the latest counter to Hollywood's incessant need to blame literally every problem on some sort of bigotry, Ghostbuster franchise star Aaron Hudson says that not only does he disagree with that idea that his being black led to his reduced role in the first film but that leaping to blaming anything that doesn't work in your life on racism is nothing but unproductive. Originally as confirmed by Ghostbuster co-writer Dan Aykroyd the role of Winston was originally intended to go to comedian Eddie Murphy. However thanks to schedules conflicts related to his work on Beverly Hills Cop Murphy ultimately had to decline the offer. As such the role would eventually go to Hudson but despite the fact that the character was seemingly intended for a celebrity as big as Murphy as fans who have seen the final cut of the film have attest he is barely even present in the first Ghostbuster having easily the least amount of screen time by far among the core team and even being notably absent from the film's domestic and international released poster. So going from on here you have Hudson who describes some of the backstory of how he got the role and, and what the character of Winston was supposed to be originally in the story and how it eventually got changed and edited down and reasons behind why that happened. And I'll leave a link down below to this article so you can read the whole thing yourself and get an idea for yourself of what your opinion is behind all this. And it was in reference to this debacle that when pressed by said the actors Louis Shelton following the premiere of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire as to whether he thought racism played a crucial part in the shrinking of both his role in the film and his paycheck, Hudson sought to make it clear that he found the entire line of argument to be entirely reductive. You know, being a person of African descent anywhere in the world, we're all just learning how to live together and get along together and realize that we're all connected. And it is very tempting sometimes to blame anything that doesn't work in our life on racism. But there are a lot of things that we play into that's not quite that simple. We can say it's a racial thing, but I think if Eddie Murphy had played the world I play, he would have been paid very well. I think studios are in the business of making money and they pay what they feel they have to. Now, I heard the argument from some other uh, YouTubers that I follow and stuff, and they made a very good argument that at this time, comparatively speaking, Aaron Hudson wasn't as popular as, say, Eddie Murphy. So, you know, he's not going to garnish as much as someone like Bill Murray would or Dan Aykroyd would. Or the fact that we talk about, say, if, and, I, and Ryan Kennel made this argument in, in one of his videos, that if a mediocre white actor, someone that's not as well known or something, was in a movie with Denzel Washington, you know, it, that person's not going to make as much or maybe get as, as notoriety as Denzel Washington because people are drawn to these movies based on people that they know. And so the studios base that around people who they know. Just like in, in a scenario where you, you may have a, a, a male lead and a female lead in it, and uh, you hear the the old argument like, well, why did the woman not make as much as the man? Well, who are the two actors in it? And and at, at the point in which this movie is being made, who is the bigger draw? Is it the male lead or is it the female lead? In a lot of cases, if it's one actor is being paid more than the other, and it just so happens to be the male lead, then it's probably because that male lead is more popular. It is, it's hotter at the time, and that's the person that they want in everything. Just like that female lead, she'll probably become more popular and hotter and everything and she'll probably get paid more than other female uh, actors and stuff that they may play in, in the same movies together. That's just how it's done. You can't just pay everybody equally across the board because that's not what's putting butts in seats or bringing people even when it's going to be on streaming services. What Aaron Hudson's saying here, you know, makes a lot of sense that you can't just blame everything on racism and you can't blame everything necessarily on, on gender roles or inequity of this or that or whatever. You know, sometimes things happen because of who is more popular and what's drawing people to go see that movie. All right, leave your thoughts down in the comments down below. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. It's all totally free to do and i will catch you next time who are you a friend